I forgot how to do this. <laughs> Hello everybody, it's been a little bit. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while. I talked about it a little bit on Instagram and Twitter here and there. So some of you guys know what's going on and um, I do plan to talk about it like in depth in a future video. But today I am finally back filming a video for the first time in months. The last video I filmed was my vlog for The Reading Rush in July. So it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I filmed. It's been a long time since I've read anything. But today I have a regular old book haul for you guys um, because it's been quite a bit since I hauled some books and I have acquired quite a few in the time that I've been gone. So I thought that it was a good time to share them with you. I have a lot of books here that I'm really excited about so I'm excited to talk about them and share them with you guys. So without any further ado, let's get into the book haul. So the majority of the books that I have to haul in this video are from Book Outlet. And as you guys know, I love Book Outlet. I've been shopping from them and working with them for years and I'm working with them in this video as well. They are a website that sells overstocked books at a cheaper price and they provided me with a gift card to order some books from their site and show them to you guys in my hauls and I did that once again. And today I have a total of six books to share with you all that I ordered from them. So without any further ado, let's get into them. So all of the books that I ordered are actually classics um, because I have not really been in the mood to read anything. I haven't read anything since July and um, I've just been trying to like figure out what it is that I'm craving to read and I recently rewatched Pride and Prejudice which is one of my favorite movies and I realized that like I just really feel like reading a classic or like a period piece something like that. So I was checking Book Outlet's website and I noticed that they had some Jane Austen books that I don't own so I decided to pick these up and they are Persuasion and Northanger Abbey. I don't own physical copies of these books. I've read Persuasion. I don't think I've read Northanger Abbey, but I might have, honestly. It's been a while. But yeah, I really like these editions, and I just thought it would be nice to own um, some more of her books because I would love to have her entire collection, and I think I do now, technically. Maybe. I'm not positive. <laughs> but yeah, I might be picking up one of these to read sometime soon or reread um, because, like I said, I've just kind of been in the mood for classics, and I really love Jane Austen. All right, and then the next and last four books that I ordered from Book Outlet are all by the same author, and once again, we have of classics and um, I decided to pick up some Shakespeare uh, because I really love Shakespeare and I don't own any of these plays so I thought it would be a good idea to pick them up because these editions are also really pretty. So the ones that I picked up are As You Like It which I have not read um, but I think I've seen the play but I'm not positive. I don't remember which one is which. <laughs> the Tempest which I have definitely seen but I don't think I've read. Um, Romeo and Juliet which I have seen and read and Othello, which I have neither seen nor read. So uh, yeah, these are all ones that I don't own yet and the majority of them I have not actually read. So I thought it would be good to own these and to pick them up whenever I feel like reading a Shakespeare play because uh, I really like Shakespeare, like I said. So yeah, hopefully these might help me get back into reading as well. And I'm not positive what these editions are. I think these are the modern library editions. That's what it says like at the bottom right here. Um, but I really like the covers of these. I like the penguin ones too. Uh, I don't remember what they're called, but I have the one for Twelfth Night and for Hamlet, I think, at home. Um, and I really love those editions, and I would like to have all of them in those editions. Um, but these are also really, really beautiful. I love the cover for As You Like It, and I really like the one for Romeo and Juliet as well. So yeah, um, I'm really happy to have these, and I might just like pick these all up and try reading all of them to continue completing my Goodreads challenge because I think I'm probably really behind considering I haven't read anything in like a month and a half. So uh, yeah, hopefully these will help me get through that. All right, so the next five books, I think I have five books, are all advanced copies that were sent to me recently by publishers. So thank you so much to them. Um, and I'm excited about a lot of these, but there's one in particular that I just am so excited to share with you all. But the first advanced copy I have here is Cursed by Frank Miller and uh, Thomas Wheeler. Frank Miller is the illustrator, Thomas Wheeler is the author. And this is being adapted into a Netflix series, like it says, and I think it's starring Katherine Langford. Um, so that's pretty exciting. I don't actually know too much about the story, but it says, whoever wields the sword of power shall be the one true king. But what if the sword has chosen a queen? What if the Lady of the Lake was destined to unite her people? So it sounds like it would be pretty cool. Um, and I'm excited for the Netflix series to see how that goes. But there's also some really cool like illustrations in 
here. And I know that um, a lot of the ones in the finished copy will be in full color, which is really exciting. I love when they do that in books. So yeah, thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending this to me. I'm excited to check it out. Next up here, I have a graphic novel that was recently sent to me. And this I don't think is an advanced copy. I think, yeah, this is a finished copy. Um, but it's the graphic novel for Harley Quinn, Breaking Glass. I actually don't know very much about Harley Quinn, but I do really like the DC comics. She is DC, right? She's not Marvel. She's DC. I'm not wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I really don't know anything about her story, but I do really like the DC comics, like I said. So I am excited to try this out and see how it goes. This was sent to me by DC Inc., so thank you to them. And yeah, I'm excited to see how this goes and to see if I like it. I recently read the um, Teen Titans Raven comic, and I really enjoyed that. I thought it was pretty good, so hopefully I like this one too. Next up here, I have a book that was sent to me by Penguin Teen, and I am so excited about this. I was not initially that excited, but then like I started thinking about it and I was like, mm, I really miss vampires. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited for this. And that is The Beautiful by Renee Atia. Um, this, like I mentioned, is about vampires. That's pretty much all I know, but that's all I really need to know because like I have like this hole in my heart where Twilight used to be and I feel like I need it back, <laughs> but I have tried to reread Twilight since and I'm just not into it. So like, I feel like it just needs some good vampire novels and I'm hoping that this one ends up being that for me. All I know is that it takes place in New Orleans and there's like murder and mystery as well. So it seems like it's gonna be really fun and hopefully romantic as well. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out and I'm really, really hoping that I enjoy it. Next up, I have another book that was sent to me by Simon & Schuster and that is the advanced copy of Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi, which I think is now out. Um, yeah, it came out in September it's still the beginning of September, but I'm pretty sure this book already came out like just last week. I was not actually a huge fan of Mary H.K. Choi's other book, Emergency Contact, but one thing I really do like about her YA is that she writes like older YA, so the characters are usually in college, which is something I feel like you don't see as frequently in YA, but I really appreciate that because I like the college setting for YA books as well. So um, this one is about a college dropout, an NYU dropout, and he meets this girl who has like a huge social media following, um, and I think it's like about their relationship essentially, but it seems really interesting and I'm excited to see what I think of this one, especially compared to her other book. I feel like just in terms of theme, this one's a little bit more up my alley, so hopefully it will be something that I enjoy more than the first one and also just enjoy in general. All right, and the very last book in my haul today is the one that I am just so over the moon excited to have and to be reading and that is none other than The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, the author of The Night Circus. As we all know, like my favorite book. I hesitate calling it that now because like I have so many favorite books, but one of my all-time favorite books, as my friends call it, the Hannah book. So yeah, it's just one of my favorite books ever. And it was Erin Morgenstern's debut novel and her only book for so many years. So we're finally getting more Erin Morgenstern and I am just over the moon. <laughs> I have already started reading this. I'm only like 15 pages in, but I will say this is like the first book in months that I've picked up that I've just like instantly connected with. Like I picked it up and I was like, oh my God, like I don't want to stop reading. I forgot how incredible her writing is. Like, I mean, I recently reread The Night Circus too. So it's not like, it's not fresh in my mind, but like her writing is just unreal and I adore it. So like, I know that I'm gonna absolutely love this. I already have a feeling that it's probably, oh, that's hard to say because I also really love Daisy Jones and the Six, but it's probably gonna be my favorite book of the year. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Regardless, it's gonna be really high up there. So yeah, I just know that this is gonna be like a five-star book for me. I can already tell from like the first 10 pages. <laughs> so yeah, a huge, huge thank you to Penguin Random House Double Day Books for sending this to me. I am just so, so excited to read it. And I'm actually considering doing a reading vlog for this. So if you guys would like to see um, a reading vlog of me like reading this book and get to see like my live reactions, I guess, um, to reading The Starless Sea, let me know and I'll definitely film that reading vlog because I've finally felt like reading again and this is definitely gonna be the first thing that I pick up. So yeah, I'd be happy to do that. But there you all have it. That is it for my book haul. I hope you all enjoyed watching this. I know it wasn't like a very big book haul, a decent number of books, but I've had definitely had much bigger book hauls. Again, I just wanna thank you all for being so patient with me and letting me take some time away 
away and for just being so kind and inviting whenever I come back and still being here. It really means the world to me and I wish I knew how to express that to you properly. Um, but yeah, just thank you all so much for always being so kind. I did mention this a little bit on my Instagram, but I am kind of planning on doing some like new types of videos and experimenting a little bit with the content on my channel, which does give me a bit of anxiety, um, but I feel like it's what I want and what I need to do. So if there are any types of videos or anything that you would like to see, please do let me know in the comments down below. I kind of want to just do some more like personal stuff and also like make some videos about some of my other hobbies. I've planned out some like journaling videos, which I'm not sure how I feel about that, but um, I might do some of that. So if that's something you're into, then you can look forward to that hopefully. But yeah, definitely let me know if there's anything you'd like to see bookish or non-bookish related um, and I will try my best to make it. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all my links are in the description box as always. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.